What's up guys, Josh Mosman here. Welcome to This Week in MXA, episode number 59, presented by O'Neill Racing. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Thank you to O'Neill for sponsoring this video and keeping it coming every Wednesday morning. In this episode, we're gonna talk about Glendale Supercross, the chaos that went on there, Vince Freeze, Christian Craig, the penalty that happened. Also got to talk about the KTM junior kid who won the race and uh, started a little bit of controversy on social media afterwards. Then talk about the 450 class, talk about racing SRA Grand Prix at Glen Helen where I crashed out like a goon. And uh, also talk about Malcolm Stewart's Inside the Pros Bikes video on his Rockstar Husky that we just posted, factory edition KTM testing and more. Let's dive into it. Starting things off with the 250 class, Christian Craig has been relatively unstoppable except for when he crashes. And this time it was a crash in the second main event at the Triple Crown at Glendale Supercross and Hunter Lawrence went on to win the night. So Craig won the first main event, second main event came around. Obviously everybody's seen it a million times now. Vince Freeze launches into Christian Craig, into the side of him, into the back of him really, and launches him forward out of the, out of the track, off of the track in the sand section. Christian Craig had nothing he could do and uh, brutal, brutal situation. If, if they were hitting in the middle of the corner, Christian might have fell sideways or backwards, but Christian was on the gas going to the outside. Vince hits him from behind and just launches him forward. Christian Craig really got lucky that he wasn't injured any worse than just a few road rashes as we all saw. Gets up, finishes fourth place after that incredible ride from Christian Craig. My brother pressured Hunter Lawrence towards the end of the main event. He passed through the pack and uh, got really close to making the pass on the last lap. Made a mistake as you guys saw. Hunter Lawrence went on to win. My brother got second and kind of rebounded after crashing in the first turn in the first main event. Third main event comes around. Christian Craig is gone. He pulls away to take the lead take the win. Hunter Lawrence finishes second, gets his first overall win of the season. Super cool for him to see. And uh, my brother battled, but towards the end of the race, went down hard. Big crash. Um, he's banged up his back and his hips are pretty sore. So hopefully he'll be okay for Anaheim three this weekend. Rough go for him. Christian Craig salvaged it, got second. Still has an eight point lead on Hunter Lawrence going into Anaheim three this weekend. And then the 250 West division will take a big break after that. Those guys will take a little time off, start testing for outdoors and uh, then get ready for the rest of the series after the 250 East Division gets their first rounds in, starting at Minneapolis. As for the penalty for Vince Freeze, it is a six month probation and he got a written warning as well. So I guess that just means that the AMA is gonna be keeping a closer eye on Vince Freeze for the rest of the Supercross season. Interesting stuff, but uh, that's pretty much all we have for the penalty on Vince Freeze. No fine, no positions docked, nothing like that. Kind of surprising, but it is what it is. We'll move on to Anaheim 3 this weekend. And before I touch on the 450 class, we got to talk about the KTM Junior. Uh, it's electric bike racing now. If you guys haven't been to a stadium and seen it in person, you won't be able to hear them because they are on the KTM E5 electric bikes. And uh, this was a pretty cool battle, especially off the start straight to see these guys jump in little tabletops. And then after the finish, the rider crossed the finish line, won the race, but then he turned right and went out onto the start straight, ghost rode his bike and started dancing. Everybody loved it. The crowd went wild and it was super funny to watch. But the moral and really the backstory to it that a lot of people don't understand unless you were there in person and saw it live, he ghost rode his bike onto a live straightaway on the track so that he won the race. There's still 13 other riders coming behind him. A couple of them had to dodge his bike. He was dancing out there. KTM guy scooped him up, sent him off the track and gave him a talking to. But uh, really the, the reasoning behind it, the backstory that I found out later was that uh, he was actually in the middle of the track. It's hard to tell on the video, um, but if you were there in person, you would see that. So a little bit of controversy on social media. Supercross posted that and a lot of people were uh, hating on KTM for sucking the fun out of this kid's celebration, which I agree. We all love to see a good celebration after the race, but just maybe not not on a hot racetrack so kind of funny had to share that with you guys diving into the 450 class it was super cool to see Eli Tomac get another win um, first 450 rider to get two wins in a row this season we had an awesome streak with new winners at each round Eli Tomac broke the streak I was kind of bummed I wanted to see a fifth winner at five races in the 450 class that would have been super cool but Eli Tomac would not be denied he got two amazing hole shots in the first two main events and rode smart to uh, to get the main event and really overall win in the third main event so that was cool also really cool to see Malcolm Stewart get his first podium 
on his new bike, the Rockstar Husqvarna, and uh, Jason Anderson was going super fast. That was also fun to see. It's just cool to see Jason Anderson battling towards the front of the pack. He's riding aggressive and making things exciting at the front, so that's been really fun to watch. And Jason Anderson had that tough crash in the second main event that really hurt his overall score, but still cool to see him up front and battling for, for wins and podium finishes. Then it was also Chase Sexton who showed speed and uh, showed some, some challenges in that first main event where he went down twice but turned it around, rode consistent in the second one, won the third main event and was able to get on the podium for the third place. So that's pretty impressive. His third podium in three weekends. That's a good streak for a young rider in the 450 class. Chase Sexton's only 22 years old and he's definitely improving big time. Next up, we got to show you guys Malcolm Stewart's Inside the Pros Bikes video that we just posted on our YouTube channel and website this week. MXA's videographer Travis Fant does an awesome job interviewing factory mechanics and getting them to explain all the details on their motorcycles so that we can just know more about these factory bikes and what they do to them to make them different from what you can buy at the store. So some of the things that Malcolm Stewart has done to his bike, you can get done to your Rockstar Edition Husky FC 450 once it's available, once you can buy it. Um, and some of the things are factory special and, and we won't be able to buy, but it's fun to look at and learn about. So really cool. Chris Laredo, AKA CeeLo. He's uh, been Jason Anderson's mechanic for a long time on the Rockstar team. Now he's with Malcolm Stewart. They got their first podium this weekend and we got our really cool video on the website and YouTube channel. So be sure to check it out. Next up, I got to share some clips from racing this past weekend at Glen Helen at SRA on Sunday. So SRA is the Grand Prix series. It's kind of off-road motocross style, 45 minute moto. We had an awesome turnout of pro riders out there. This was my first time racing that series at Glen Helen. I've raced off-road races there before, but I wanted to do this one because I'm getting ready to do the NGPC race at Glen Helen the first weekend of March, which is an hour and a half pro moto, Grand Prix style, off-road, West Coast off-road style. Then I'm gonna do the works race at Lake Havasu. I love racing at Lake Havasu. That track is really gnarly. I've raced there three times. That's a two hour race on the lake in the sand, just gnarly sand whoops for two hours straight. I'm gonna do, do those two races on a Honda CRF 450RX and Josh Fout, MXA test rider, he's gonna do it on a Yamaha YZ 450FX. So we both showed up to SRA this weekend to get a little practice in and we both crashed out. Uh, let's hear from us and show you some video clips from the weekend. about 15 minutes and do a 45 minute race, had some crashes, learned a lot, and yeah, I learned a lot. <laughs> Didn't make the whole race. Josh, there's two MXA guys, orange helmets. I was waiting for you to come by to get a video, and then what happened? Uh, we both made two and a half laps, that's what happened. Uh, <laughs> I did some mapping changes on the Yamaha to tame her down, try to be a little better for off road. And I don't know if I went too far, not enough. What and, was it doing? Uh, it, was, uh, it was backfiring real bad going over the jumps. Uh, you know, getting a little sputter, did it three times, kind of worried me, decided. I want to race again next weekend. Backfiring and sputtering? Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was an odd thing. I've never had it happen to me on a dirt bike. All right. Well, we got one broken bike, bent up bars, broken visor, helmet visor, orange helmet down. Everybody else is still racing, and we are on the sidelines. That is the story of our REM SRA, not REM SRA experience. Made it through one race. I don't know why I wouldn't make through another. Nice. 
So there you have it. I crashed out. I crashed in the dust uh, twice. First lap of the race, it was so dusty in this one particular spot that I tucked the front end and uh, bent the bars a little bit to the right. Continued racing, made it about three laps and not even halfway into the race and caught up to some, some good riders and was coming down uh, off of the main track or off of the REM track onto the main track and coming down a little little chute and uh, got a little bottlenecked, really dusty again. I couldn't see anything. Tucked the front end, tumbled down the hill, bent the bars even worse. And uh, that was the end of my race. The bike was not really able to keep going with the bars completely bent. Pretty embarrassing. I learned a valuable lesson from my friend, Jason Eck. Don't go faster than you can see. Motocross guy here. I uh, haven't been off-roading too much lately, so that was a good lesson to learn. Josh Fout, he had some struggles. Uh, the YZ450 was sputtering a little bit on him and backfiring, so we're gonna have to get that figured out before we go racing here in about a month. Overall, lots of fun. A lot of good pro riders there showed up for the works race they're getting ready for in the next two weeks out there. So that was cool to mix it up with uh, some really good riders and really get my butt kicked as well. We got 250 and 450 factory edition KTM videos that we just posted on our website and YouTube channel where we test those new bikes at Fox Raceway. Those bikes are completely new from the ground up. Frame, subframe, engine on both bikes is completely different. It's really weird to have the start and stop switch on the right hand side. They also have the quick shift, which was pretty weird and unique. Some guys I think are gonna love it. Some guys are gonna hate it. So if you haven't seen those videos, yet be sure to check out our youtube channel and our website where we dive into all the details on those bikes we're going to get the rockstar edition huskies in about a month and by then we'll have a lot of information on the ktm factory editions and how they work compared to the other bikes and uh, it's going to be fun time to do test those bikes as well so looking forward to that we also got the kx 450 sr special edition it's the factory edition from kawasaki we're going to be riding that and testing that soon too lots to look forward to thank you guys for tuning in as always click subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with our latest videos we'll see you in the next one